The exhibition is called Fault Bound Bodies and it's a single screen video and surround sound installation that's positioned within a large scale structure that takes the form of two intersecting curved walls. And this structure is loosely based on a cross section of a diagram of the earth in the way a diagram might be used to communicate and contain complex and unwieldy ideas in a clear and formally refined way. The structure is to act as a streamlined container for the often unwieldy and speculative nature of the video itself, which is very literally projected at the core of these two intersecting curved walls. Initially, the work came from a very broad interest in the idea of energy, both physical and emotional. It seemed to me that energy was something that is generally understood by its mediation through another form. And I wanted to think more about what these forms of mediation are and also to think about energy on its own terms. In the aftermath of these impacts, we took on many and celebrated forms. These forms were at once precise and general, powerful and elegant, but all were simply striving to make things work. The story of the video begins at the start of the Earth and the build-up of the Earth's internal heat during the early formation of the planet. This section of the video is spoken with a human voiceover in the form of kind of a poem, loosely based on scientific interpretations of how that early heat would have been formed. In a sense, that part of the video evolves very much from a human perspective and from within the limitations of our ability to understand the world and more specifically to understand its heat. From there, the narrative moves on to a future moment and the application of that internal heat of the earth in the form of geothermal energy. This becomes the main body of the work and is spoken to the imagined voice of a geothermal power plant, which relays its longings for a now extinct volcano to which it would have once been connected millions of years ago. The video culminates in the geothermal site's anticipation of a speculative future called Pangea Ultima, in which all the individual continents might reform into one supercontinent. And the site imagines that in this time of Ultima, its own heat, along with a combination of other forces, might allow it to be reunited with the estranged volcano again. Also in the knowledge that by that time they both will be completely transformed from what they were before. The imagery for the video is made in a number of different ways. It combines footage that I've either filmed at specific locations or that I filmed in the studio and brings this together with found footage and imagery that I've worked with 3D animators to make. The sites that I filmed at were a geothermal power plant in Iceland, a glass bottle factory in Scotland and a specific sandstone and granite rock in a place called Glen Tilt, which is also in Scotland. And both this rock and an accident at a glass bottle factory in Edinburgh in 1785 informed the research of James Hutton, the founding father of modern geology, and supported his theory that the earth was once born molten. <laughs> 